Let's try to understand how to solve distance speed time problems. Here is an interesting question. From her home in York, Nancy drove to Montreal at an average speed of 75 km per hour. From his home in Malton, Anil drove to Montreal via York at an average speed of 85 km per hour. The distance from Malton to York is 18 km. If Nancy and Anil left home at the same time, after what length of time did Anil overtake Nancy? So let's first try to understand this question. Let me draw a line diagram kind of to make you understand this question. So first it says that Nancy drove to Montreal at an average speed of 75 kilometers per hour. So let's say this is Nancy and she drives from here towards Montreal, right? And this speed is given to us as 75 kilometers per hour. Now it says from his home in Malton, Anil drove to Montreal via York at an average speed of 85 kilometers per hour. That means it is somewhere before this, right? So we'll say from here, this is Anil, and he drives towards Montreal. The speed is given to us as 85 kilometers per hour. Now it says distance from Malton to York is 18. That means that this distance is 18 for us. We'll write 18 here. If Nancy and Anil left home at the same time, after what length of time did Anil overtake Nancy? Okay, so let's say this is the point when Anil overtakes Nancy. So as you can see, they left at the same time at the time when Anil overtakes Nancy, they must have traveled for the same time, correct? So the equation is when the time is equated for both of them. So we realize that the time is same, right? So let us write down, let the length of time be t, right? which is going to be same for both since both of them started at the same time, right? So that is the main thing. Now in time t, how much distance did Nancy cover? She is traveling at the speed of 75 kilometers per hour, right? So distance covered by Nancy will be 75 into t, right? And distance covered by Anil will be 85 into t. How do we get this relation? So let me get back to our triangle, which we discussed earlier also, but it's a good reminder. So the relation between distance, speed, and time, you can remember using this triangle. Distance, speed, and time. So distance is product of speed and time. That's what we did. Speed times time gives you distance. And if you want to find speed, it is distance divided by time. Like that. Correct? Now as we realize, what is the distance? How are the distances related for Nancy and for Anil? Since Anil stays in a place which is 18 kilometers away from York, Anil covers a distance of 18 kilometers more than Nancy. So that is the relation, right? Correct? So, distance covered by Anil is how much? Distance covered by Anil is also equal to distance covered by Nancy plus 18. Do you see that? So it is distance covered by, let me write Nancy N, plus 18. So that is the distance covered by Anil. So this is the equation which can help us to solve the problem, right? 
So we will equate distance covered by Nancy. Let me write this distance as dn, the distance covered by Nancy. And let distance this dA, distance covered by Anil. Now we know distance covered by Anil is equals to distance covered by Nancy plus 18 kilometers. And from here we can equate and find the answer. Distance covered by Anil is 85t and distance covered by Nancy is 75t plus 18 right that is the additional distance covered by Anil during the same time. So that is the equation which helps to solve this problem. So we will bring variables to one side that is we have 85t minus 75t equals to 18 and let's solve it on this side. So, so we have here 85t minus 75t equals to 18. That is the difference in distance, right? Which is 10t equals to 18 and therefore t is 18 divided by 10. That gives you 1.8 hours. Correct? So, the question is, if Nancy and Anil left home at the same time, after what length of time did Anil overtake Nancy? So the, the time will be 1.8 hours, right? It's a good idea to write time in terms of hours and minutes, right? So in that case, we'll convert, we can say 1.8 hours means, one. we can write distance 1.8 hours, this is one option. The other option is, let's convert that into minutes right so 0.8 times 60 will give us minutes so we can write this also as one hour and 0.8 times 60 let me show you here 0.8 times 60 which is 48 minutes so one hour and 48 minutes so that is the length of time taken by Anil to overtake Nancy Right? I hope you understand how we did it. So first part of the problem is to sketch the situation. Understand. And then use the relation between distance, speed and time to make your equation. Now what helps to make the equation is that both travel for the same duration of time since they started at the same time. And their distances are different. Right? So, we made two equations, one for distance covered during that particular time by Anil, second the distance covered during that time by Nancy, equated the two and solved for the time. Right? Remember to write down the answer clearly with the units, that's most important in any word problem. I hope you understand the steps. Thank you.